In today's video, we are going to schedule data pipelines based on data updates. Let's do it. On the Airflow UI, most of your DAGs have time-based schedules. That's what you can see with Add Daily. But now, if you carefully look at the consumer DAG, this one has a data set schedule. What does it mean? It means that this DAG runs when a set of data is updated. Let me tell you what is a data set. Let's say you have the following use case with two data pipelines, one with the tasks N, B, and C, and another one with the tasks 1, 2, 3. In the middle of those data pipelines, you have one file, and your goal is to trigger the second DAG when the first DAG updates the file. How to do it with data sets? A data set is a logical grouping of data, and it has a URI. That URI is the path to your data. That data can be pretty much whatever you want. It can be a file, it can be a file in a S3 bucket, or it can even be a SQL table. The sky is the limit and you will understand why in a few minutes. Just keep in mind that the URI must be composed only of ASCII characters and you cannot use the URI schema Airflow. You know, if you want to refer to a S3 file, you will put S3 colon slash slash. Well, you cannot use Airflow colon slash slash. In addition to the URI, you have another parameter which is extra, if you want to add extra information to your dataset, you can do it. Now, you know what is a dataset, let's see how to implement a data-aware scheduled data pipeline. Before I forgot, subscribe to my channel, that will help me a lot, and smash the like button if you want to see more videos like that. If you want to follow what I'm going to show you on your computer, you can do it, but just to let you know, I'm using the Astro CLI, because in my opinion, it's truly the easiest and fastest way to run Airflow locally, plus you have additional functionalities like for testing your DAGs and so on. If you want to install the Astro CLI, you need to have Docker on your machine and then you go on the following link and you follow the instructions to install the Astro CLI according to your operating system. If you don't want to use the Astro CLI, you can go on the Airflow website, then on that link, you have the instructions to follow in order to download the Docker Compose file, and then you run it with Docker Compose, up dash D, and that's it. Now let's open our code editor. In the folder DAGs, create a new DAG called producer.py. In this file, we create a new data pipeline. First, we import the DAG object, so from Airflow, import DAG, and then dataset. This is the new import that you need to make in order to use datasets. Then we import a decorator from airflow.decorators, import task. If you don't know what are decorators, they are very useful to create tasks faster, as you are going to see. Just below, we import the daytime object in order to set the start date with it. And now we are ready to instantiate a data set. How? Very simple. We create a new variable, let's say my file, equals to a dataset object. And now we need to specify the URI, the path to that file. Let's say slash tmp slash myfile.txt. So as you can see, it is a plain text file that I'm gonna use for that dataset. Just below, we instantiate a DAG object with DAG. We specify the DAG ID. So in that case, producer, like that. Then we specify the schedule and notice that I'm using the schedule parameter and not the schedule interval parameter. Since Airflow 2.4, you can just use schedule. It merges both the timetables and the schedule interval parameters. Let's say at daily, in this case, I want to run this DAG every day at midnight. Just below the start date with a daytime object. Let's say the 1st of January, 2022. And again, with the catch up parameter equals to false, as I don't want to run automatically non triggered DAG runs. Now we have this DAG, I can just put a colon here, no need to put as DAG since Airflow 2.4, and I'm ready to create my tasks. I'm gonna create a first task with the task decorator, like this, and we define that task with the following name update my file. It takes no parameters, then in that task, I want to open the file. To use the path of the dataset, I can just use my underscore file dot URI. Okay, so I'm gonna use this path. I put the following option as I want to add something in the file. Just below, I want to write something. Let's say producer 
update. And now I can call the task update my file. There is something missing here. As you can see in this task, I update the file, the data set that I've created here. Now I need to indicate to Airflow that this task updates a data set. And to do that, there is a new parameter that you need to use, which is outlets. And it is equal to a list with the value corresponding to my data set, my file. So to sum up, first you import the data set object. Next, you create the data set and you put the URI, the path to the file under the data set. Finally, you need to create a task with the outlets parameter where you put your data set in it to indicate to Airflow that this task updates the data set. That's it. Three steps. Now we have the producer DAG ready. Let's create the consumer DAG that will be triggered when the task update my file successfully runs. Go back to the folder DAGs, create a new data pipeline, consumer.py. Then you need to import the DAG object as usual with the data set. Just below, you can import the task decorator. Then we need the daytime object for the start date and we need to instantiate a data set. But this time we are going to use the exact same data set as before. So go back to producer.py. You can copy that line and put it there. Next, we instantiate the DAG object. So again, with a DAG ID equals to consumer, then a schedule. This time we are not going to specify any time interval, but instead we specify the data set on which we want to schedule the DAG. In this case, we put a list and my file. So by doing that, we are seeing this DAG runs when the data set is updated. Just below the start date with a daytime object and the catcher parameter equals to false. We create a new task, read my file. No parameters for that task. Just below, we type with open. We specify the URI with myfile.uri in read. And we just need to type print as we want to read the entire file. Like that. Finally, we call the task read my file. To sum up, to make a data aware scheduled data pipeline, you need to do three things. First, you need to import a dataset object. Then you need to use the same dataset as the one updated by a task in another DAG. And finally, you need to indicate that this DAG runs only when the dataset is updated. How? By putting the dataset as the value of your scheduled parameter. And that's it. Now, if you take a look at the Airflow UI, you can see consumer with the scheduled dataset which means it waits for the data set to be updated to run. Okay, time to see if it works. And for that, we start scheduling the consumer DAG. Obviously, you need to unpause that DAG in order to run it. So that's the first step. And as you can see, nothing happens yet. But now if we turn on the toggle of the producer DAG and refresh the page and wait a little bit, as you can see, the consumer DAG has been triggered since the task in the producer DAG update my file has been successfully executed. Well done, you have successfully created a data aware scheduled data pipeline, which means you can trigger your DAGs based on data updates. Now I would like to give you additional information to avoid having to define many times the same data sets in the folder include if you don't have that folder created, but if you use the Astro CLI, you have it by default, you can create a new file like datasets.py where you can import the dataset object like this, remove the DAG object, and you just need to define the dataset. So let's say this one, save the file. And now instead of having to define that dataset again and again, you can remove the line and import the dataset from include.datasets import my file and you just need to use my file like that. Same thing for the producer DAG, remove that line, use my file from the datasets file and use my file like that. Save the file and now you avoid having to define the same dataset again and again.
In addition, at some point you may have many data sets and having dependencies between your dice can be hard to, you know, to monitor. And for that, there is a new view, data sets. So if you click on it, you get the list of all data sets. And the cool thing is, if you click on one of them, let's say myfile.txt, you can clearly see that the producer DAG updates the following data set that triggers the following DAG, consumer. So don't hesitate to use the data sets view. It is available from Airflow 2.4. That will help you a lot to monitor your dependencies and your data sets. Finally, the last thing that I would like to tell you is why you can put pretty much whatever you want for the URI of your data set. Well, it's because Airflow doesn't care about if the actual data is updated or not. Indeed, the only thing that Airflow monitors is if the task that updates the dataset successfully completes or not. If it successfully completes, then the DAG is triggered. If it fails, then the DAG is not triggered. It is as simple as that. Again, if you go back to your code editor and here, instead of having the with open and the F write, you just put known. If that task successfully completes, then the DAG consumer will be triggered. So think of the URI as the unique identifier of a dataset and not as a way for Airflow to access the actual data of your dataset. And that means if a nozzle tool like Spark updates that dataset, Airflow will not be aware of that and your DAG won't be triggered. That's it about datasets. Now you are able to create data aware scheduled data pipelines. This is a truly amazing feature that opens a lot of new use cases. If you want to learn more about that, just let me know in the comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That will help me a lot. And I wish you a wonderful day. See you soon. Take care.